lots of messages yeah so free yourself right so i feel like this is the free energy you're getting let your friends help you i always feel this is your angels so i feel like this is your connection right now to spirit you have an, an energy a very either a free spirited energy or just an energy to just kind of see what's new now it is your season sag so happy birthday to those um but this is a free spirit of you know embracing what's coming in yep forgiving and learning the past and then flirt right so that's that flirtatious um dating energy that i'm picking up where you're meeting someone where you're extending your lighthearted energy to others like you're you're in this i think you both are in spiritual path so whoever you're going to meet is going to be in a spiritual path um this is the energy the forgiving and learning is the energy of how both of you are going to actually still be releasing things so it's almost like this connection is going to kind of finalize some levels of healing for you so there might be some triggering but there there is also learning and i think the bigger part of Whoever this is, is going to be the learning part, right? And, you know, and you guys have to give that relationship a chance. So kind of work on it. It's going to require effort and hear religious factors. Yeah, because it's a, it's a spiritual path. I really do feel it's a spiritual path. You know, the love life is influenced by a spiritual path. In this case, that's what I feel with this energy. So whew, these energies are not easy. I am still picking up Eclipse Aftermath and... Um, these readings have been really, really intense. All right, so let's see what else we got for you here, Sag. So Sag, this really, this reading really is about you and your growth and allowing someone in, you know, um, more in alignment with you and being open to that. Wow, sixes have been so important. I have to point that out. Six of, six of wands, it's in the bottom, but it's been very important in all the reads so far. So become, it's, because it's in the bottom, this is actually another, a lot of harmonizing. These energies aren't easy. And I just feel like the six of wands is perseverance. The soul needs to keep pushing. I feel like spirit is just stressing to everyone. Keep pushing your soul. Yes, it was. it's a lot. Yes, we know, but keep going. So throat chakra with the star, hope. And again, it's that hope. I think it's allowing you to vocalize and express yourself in different ways. It's express your renewal, your spiritual side, you aligning to your star, you being, you um, really activating your life in different ways. It's almost like it just connections are different right now. We have the trapped in fear and the spiritual strength. Wow. So again, this is the learning part. And this is this, this is that this is that religious factor. For me, this is my, you know, my death card. It's really that that pivotal point in your life where you start to kind of go through these stages of, you know, the trials and tribulations of life because the nine of wands is it it, it gets exhausting, right? And it's like a lot of question marks in this period. But it's it's your reinvention. So don't, this is temporary, you guys. Um, this is for the next couple of days for some of you. And for others of you, maybe the next couple of weeks for sure. Um, until the solar eclipse, most likely. Give me more, to, give me more of this throat chakra. Okay, let's throat chakra. Yeah, talking about elevation, the Empress. You know, you're you're finding your way, you're finding your voice, you're finding your self-love, you're finding your um your 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 meaning of abundance, right? Abundance doesn't have to only be financial, it, it can be in many ways of things that matter to you. And so this is that stabilizing that you're doing for you right that freeing yourself that's 
free spirit taking back it's time to take back your control of your life you're taking control of your life and it's it's gonna show you know and who you like align with will feel the same um why is this king of swords right so clear on the mind right whoever aligns with you i think this is also um oopsie yes throat chakra so to me it's very air quality here um in terms of communication king of swords is is you being honest so i think is a logical approach to to your growth um so give me more of the star It's going to take time knight of pentacles right this isn't going to be easy and it's going to require the patience right you kind of venturing out and it's almost uh it is trial and error but keep going right the knight of pentacles is consistent so your consistency to the star your consistency to this learning curve right um some of you could be meeting a king of swords air air energy here or a libra libra um so strong air libra specifically right now but it could be a gemini or aquarius or it could be an, a nurse sign with this knight of pentacles that introduces a different side Sag, right more more of a earthly grounded energy where again you're gonna learn from your person getting rid of this trapped in fear really taking at you out of your comfort zone getting rid of this trapped in fear eight of pentacles wow really stepping out of your comfort zone getting rid of this trapped in fear and, it, and it's what you focus on. Wow, the high priestess. This is such a spiritual path. Wheel of Fortune. These two together. Some of you could be tarot readers, um, mediumship. And this, it could be the beginnings of, that's what I'm saying, it's a spiritual path. It could have been the beginning of your spiritual awakening where you kind of have to isolate for some time. And so some of you probably went through this isolation. You spiritually focused on yourself high priestess and uh, here with the wheel of fortune usually the two combined means that things are are presenting themselves um in a very mystical way and it can create this um level of isolation that makes you uncomfortable to put yourself out there five of pentacles ten of wands uh, some of you may have suffered anxiety because of it and dealing with people outside you're kind of very sensitive um so there might be a sensitivity to getting out there but i think it's time spirit wants you to extend your lighthearted energy it's time to extend yourself and just really go out there so give me more of the spiritual strength why the nine of wands two of cups yeah it's time to gather give me more of this nine of wands and like i said this person's going to teach you something you guys can be dealing with the Pisces, so this could be a spiritual person. This could be your spiritual person, but here it goes. Beautiful, right? Nine of Wands with the Two of Cups and the Judgment. Talk about spiritual awakening. Talk about a soul that comes in. Some of you it's a is a teacher, and and both of you are each other's student and teacher at the same time. So this is going to be a really important connection for a lot of you um, in this journey right now it, this this feels like a journey and um right now it's just something you're gonna embark in and it's gonna really take you out of your comfort zone so trust it you know the chariot energy here pursue it be determined test yourself right the chariot is the number seven it's the spiritual it's always the journey to self right so it's just i um identifying yourself with the universe so you get to now really, um, it's cancer energy. And I like to associate this with the moon, right? Where the moon is our light and shadow hidden, but the chariot is when we dive into those light and shadow sides and from deep levels, we get to, once we know how to transmute that, we get to use 
the advantage of both our dark and lights and transmute that in the outer world with the chariot and bring uh, certain manifestations into our lives that we truly want that that we we've learned and now are bringing forward so what is the blockage here for the sages oh my god Sag, i mean come on really catalyst you will meet divine love when you release the karma. And I just think these are catalysts. You're meeting catalysts and spiritual protection. Your guides are protecting you. Yep. And then here, lies. Pay attention to the signs and their actions. So this is a lot of um, paying attention to your relationships. Um, I think also I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling here is not lying to yourself, right? Understanding what are catalysts and what are actual lessons as well. So this journey can get very tricky, but know that you are protected. This is all protection. This is all for a reason. This, this connection will be for a reason. It's all helping you to learn, um, to really experience, to release, to let go, to confront, to analyze, to observe. Um, so many things are going to happen. It's going to be exhausting. Yes, Sag, I'm sorry. This is like not the birthday reading you would want, but... Someone's experiencing this. So what is the guidance for Sag? Acceptance. The situation is out of your control, right? Let go of what you cannot change and accept what is. No need to worry. Allow the universe to take the wheel, right? That's the wheel here. They are helping you. It's very mystical. I know it's not the most comfortable where you're like in this surrendering acceptance stage in your life and you're like well is this gonna work out is this gonna flow how is this gonna turn out you know really surrendering and letting go of control here and that's just the way the universe works so let's get you one more guidance sag Oof. courage exactly this is going to require a lot of courage from your part so i follow the stream not knowing where it will take me, but I no longer feel afraid. Yeah. Right? You'll no longer feel afraid. And that's the liberation. That's the liberation that comes with this journey. You know, the test of the, the, the spiritual journey comes with this test of our belief systems in the journey and uh, trusting being more guided by our intuition and trusting versus um versus you know the guidance of our ego and our limitations right Whew, sag i love you please like share subscribe